This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, November the 7th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the surface map for this morning, and we have a cold front moving through the southeastern U.S., and as a result of that cold front, we have a good deal of rain, as you can see from the latest radar image, uh, especially across the northern half of central and north Alabama. But uh, the rain will be ending later today, but in the meantime, in the upper atmosphere, we have a nice trough extending from the western Great Lakes back into New Mexico. And ahead of that trough, of course, we have good southwesterly flow. That southwesterly flow bringing a combination of Gulf and Pacific moisture across the southeastern U.S. and creating a situation where we're going to have rain. Once again, it's Saturday, so it must be going to rain. Temperatures across the U.S. are fairly mild across the eastern half of the country, but it's still somewhat chilly in the Rockies and up in north-central United States where they're in the upper 20s for the most part. No upper 20s across central Alabama, but it doesn't look like temperatures will be moving much today. With the clouds and rain in place, we'll probably see temperatures uh, pretty much stay where they are this morning without much change into the afternoon. And then after the front passes, the uh, temperatures will slowly fall. Rain uh, on the, mo the radar mosaic shows that we have a good deal of rain across uh, all of the southeastern U.S., stretching from northeast Texas uh, along and ahead of that front up into eastern Tennessee. QPF-wise, the quantitative precipitation forecast looks like uh, for the next uh, five days, the bulk of the rain will be just offshore, uh, the southeastern U.S. coast and the Gulf Coast. But, of course, we're going to have probably on the order of, uh, of a half to one inch with the rain that's moving through the area this morning. Storm Prediction Center is not outlooking any slight risk for severe weather. As a matter of fact, they're only expecting thunderstorms along the Gulf Coast and the southeast U.S. coast on day two, Sunday. Uh, the thunderstorms will re be restricted to the peninsula of Florida. And don't count the tropics out just yet. In the tropical Atlantic, we have two areas that are being watched. One in the Gulf, which is not likely to develop much of anything because it will interact with this front. And the second one in the northern Leeward Islands. Or, uh, and it is expected to continue to move uh, to the northwest. And it could develop as it gets into the southern Bahamas by early next week. All right, the 06Z GFS model run this morning. And there's a look at our surface pattern for today. You can see the front that it will be moving through the area. Uh, that uh, front moves down into the Gulf Coast by uh, Sunday afternoon, so it looks like we should be uh, seeing an end to the rain this evening. Uh, in the upper atmosphere, we do have a bit of a trough hanging back over uh, North Texas or the Texas Panhandle, and that will be coming out on Monday. And uh, on Monday, that moves by us just to our north. However, that in combination with what we call the wedge or cold air damming, we have a surface high pressure centered over eastern Pennsylvania, and that will be uh, creating the wedge pattern over the southeastern U.S. So look for some chance for some light rain as well as clouds and temperatures holding, maybe not even getting out of the 50s on Monday as we see that wedge pattern develop. The upper air pattern uh, goes to a little more of a zonal flow or almost a ridge on Tuesday, and that's the way it's going to stay through midweek. And that uh, pattern with the, the uh, surface, uh, oh, pardon me, with the closed low over the north central U.S., we'll, we'll see a surface low over uh, Iowa with a trailing cold front into eastern Texas. That, uh, that weather system uh, moves on by fairly quickly, the ridge somewhat holding across the southeastern U.S., but that does allow the front to drag through the area um, from uh, Wednesday afternoon through into Thursday morning. Looks like by Thursday at midday we should be clearing out and um, possibly at least the rain clearing out, maybe not the clouds completely. In the meantime, that strong surface low moving through the Great Lakes. After that, we see that the upper air pattern becomes one of a low over a um, trough over the eastern half of the country. So that will help to usher in some cooler and drier air. And we see that trough moves off the east coast on uh, Saturday. But at the surface, we have a nice high pressure system that is settling in uh, over the lower Mississippi River Valley. And that should bring us Friday and Saturday some very nice, pleasant uh, fall days. 
with temperatures dipping back to perhaps as low as uh, 40. That means some of those colder spots could get into the upper 30s and highs in the 60s. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, GFS is keeping us uh, pretty much under this uh, weak ridge and somewhat near zonal uh, flow. Uh, at least through the 18th. But after that, we see a pretty strong trough develop to the west, and that will be uh, ejecting out to the, to the northeast across the Great Lakes, but that will be dragging this uh, trough into the central plains, and that trough once again sets us up for moisture as we see that strong southwesterly flow as the trough is pushing against the big ridge uh, over the southwest Atlantic. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning by about 8 a.m. or so. In the meantime, I'll be taking the Storm Chaser down to Sawyerville later today to participate in their fall festival. If you get a chance to come out, hope to see you there. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. Have a great day and Godspeed.